What's up, guys? Today, what's up, guys? Today, we're gonna be doing the Cthulhu fight, which is. Think. Well, what I meant, to, what I meant was good. Well, what I meant for that was, we're gonna beat Cthulhu in this video. Yeah. That's what, that's what this one's all about. This one's all about. So here's his, where his room is. This is his room area here. I know y'all know this is a famous area here. He's a he's quite a famous boss. Well, he was very heart buggy when he first came out. Many know that, by the way. Everyone knows that, by the way. But I would just mention it anyway, why? Right? Because it might be a good thing if I do. In case if someone's new to this guy, I have to mention it to the new folk. Because they're not gonna know otherwise. That's a gigantic eye. He starts out as just this eye face. Yeah, no, but here's how it goes. Also, his detection radius is very high. Just on. In his eye face, he spawns all these tentacles. Yes, this is a two base. This is a probably a three phase boss fight. He spawns all sorts of tentacles on you. The boy you DPS him down, the more types of tentacles he throws at you. A knocking back one, a eyeball one that shoots another beam. His eye also could shoot crazy damn high damaging eye beams that can connect good and here are the eyeball tentacles the eye tentacles are right here this is his little ultimate death beam ability it's his own mind okay the mind flare is coming from these eyes let's do a mind flare ability on me If you defeat his eye, this happens. He will literally reveal more of his full-on body. This is Cthulhu's true form. Holy hell, he's massive. This is phase two of Cthulhu's phase number two of Cthulhu. Any this tentacle thing of his eats you up into his area. Eats you up into his insides. And how to get out of his insides is to destroy these big tentacles that are inside him. And step on this thing to get out of him. That weakens him, so if you DPS him in time. Well, you defeat him, obviously. You defeat him. So, what does he drop, you ask? Well, let's find. I'll find out. Let's find out what he drops. Everyone knows that he drops insanely good stuff. So he was always a sought-after boss to defeat. He also drops a, a coffer key, but not an insignia, because he's an old god and not a bug. But he does drop a key like the the bug ones do. He also could he also has a chance to drop some decent epic stuff here. Which some of them are actually very really good in class were really good in classic. Like they did insane stuff. And this time it's a, well there's actually more to this than you think. Well, what's after the final boss is an there's a extra room thing back here, and on the way to the final boss from the f from where after you defeat the first boss, there's also another secret little room area 
which has another set of quest NPCs there, quest mobs there, quest NPCs, and there's three more NPCs over here, in this area, after you defeat Cthulhu. And he's inside this big, you know, this big black circle thing here is his remnants, is his remnants here of hiding in this black void stuff. If you come back to the instance after a long enough time, this right here disappears. This right here is gone. I mean, this eventually disappears after a certain point. Oh, well, I'm gonna end off to. Well, I've decided that which one of these rooms is farther in. I like this upward one a little better. Alright, well, I'm gonna end off the video here, so thank you guys for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell. Share this with others. Now, see you all in the next video. Bye. That was easy. That was easy.